A warning this evening to anyone looking to rent a home. There are scammers out there, and they are pretending to be homeowners, hoping that you'll fall for the scam. The issue is they're making fake listings. This is an important consumer alert. There are some things you can do to verify that the rental you're looking at is legitimate. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris joins us live from Murray Hill now. And that is where an imposter tried to rent out a home he didn't own to cash out. Janice, you spoke to the real real estate agent behind the listing. And the real real estate agent has gone as far as putting signs in the windows to make sure that people know if they come there, they need to call him if they truly want to rent that house. If you're looking for a home to rent, the search probably starts online. It's easy to find what you're looking for, but it's also easy for scammers to copy real properties and make fake rental listings. It's crazy. And That's exactly what happened to realtor Jonathan Darty at this property that he's trying to rent out for a client. People copy uh, the listing and they place it on like Craigslist or Facebook or something like that. Interested renters found out it was a sham when they would go to the real listing on Zillow and call Darty with questions. I would tell them it's fraud because obviously a $1,400 a month property being rented for $700 a month it's, it's fraud. The real estate imposter will tell them they're somewhere out of town and then they'll charge an application fee of about $25 to $30. Then they'll say the person is approved and ask for a deposit, a low deposit of about $500. And then from there, that imposter will pocket all of the money. Those numbers add up quick. Darty called police. And basically they said there's nothing we can do. The imposter is very hard to track down and typically doesn't use any of their real personal information. A search of the Better Business Bureau website shows all types of scams, including real estate, all over Florida with the same scenario. In the meantime, Darty has these signs in the windows of this house to let potential renters know there's only one way to rent the home, and it's not through some random person that's out of town. And I also reached out to the police department, waiting to hear back from them so they can give a couple tips as well for things that you can do. But in addition, take a look at these. These are important. You need to meet the realtor in person when you are searching for a home. Check your county property appraiser website to see who really owns the property. Also, if the deposit fee and the rent is too low, that could be a red flag that it's actually a scam. Too good to be true. And if a person can't give you a tour of the home, they probably are an imposter because they don't have a copy of the keys. You can always find these tips in the story on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live in Murray Hill, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.